Hello guys, my name is Rosato Kufo. I'm a final year medical student. Today, I'm here to talk to you a bit about sexually transmitted infections, um, how to recognize the sexually transmitted infections, and what the next steps to take are if you think you may have a sexually transmitted infection. So, to begin with, what is a sexually transmitted infection? A sexually transmitted infection is an infection that you obtain after sexual activity. And this sexual activity can include oral sex, vaginal sex, or anal sex. So what kind of signs and symptoms should you look out for which may indicate a sexually transmitted infection? A lot of people may experience something called dysuria, which is when they get burning upon urination. You may also get itching in a genital area. You may develop a rash in the area, which may look like warts. And um, if you're a woman as well, you may get pain in the lower part of your tummy if you've had the infection for a long time and it has gone untreated. Um, if this is also the case, you may also have a fever and you may also develop uh, some discharge that is of abnormal color. So for example, it may be yellow or green and there may also be a change in the smell of the discharge. So it may smell a bit funny and there also they may also be a change in the consistency of the discharge so it may be a bit more runny or thicker than usual if you're experiencing any of these symptoms the best thing to do is book an appointment to see your gp as soon as possible or go to a sexual health clinic upon seeing your gp or going to a sexual health clinic what they may want to do is to take a sample um, of the discharge if you have any abnormal discharge or they may want to have a look down below um, to look at any rashes you, you may have so that's something to be aware of and something to be prepared for once you go to see the healthcare professional if you are found to have a sexually transmitted infection um, it's not the end of the world there are plenty of treatments available to fully clear the infection without suffering any uh, long-term consequences in the future Depending on which infection you have, you may be given an antibiotic or an antiviral to clear the infection. And the length of the course of the medication may range anywhere from one week to two weeks to three weeks. The healthcare professional may also want to know about your sexual contacts. So um, the people that you may have slept with or had uh, sexual intercourse with, um, because it's important to have them tested as well and have them treated um, if they do have any sexually transmitted infections as well to prevent future complications. It is very important to make sure that if you do have an STI, you see a healthcare professional or a doctor as soon as possible and um, obtain antibiotics, obtain treatment and finish the course of the antibiotics. It is very important to make sure that um, if you do think you have an STI, you go and get tested and um, follow the treatment plan to get the STI fully cleared. Because if an STI goes on for a long period of time without being treated, you can develop some complications. Sexually transmitted infections in women can cause a condition called pelvic inflammatory disease. This is when the infection spreads upwards from the vagina into the womb and also into the adjacent structures such as the fallopian tube. We want to prevent pelvic inflammatory disease because it is known to be associated with subfertility, which is when there's a reduced likelihood of you being able to get pregnant. This is because the infection can cause the fallopian tubes to become blocked um, which makes it harder for sperm to fertilize an egg. Because the tubes can also become blocked, this increases the chance of something called an ectopic pregnancy. This is when a fertilized egg implants in a location other than the womb. So it can implant in the fallopian tubes or for example in the ovaries. We don't want this to happen because the fallopian tubes, the ovaries, and the other areas outside the womb are not designed to be able to support a growing pregnancy. This is why it's very important to get a sexually transmitted infection treated as soon as possible to avoid these complications. So if you have vaginal discharge and you're wondering whether it is normal or not, 
one thing to know is that all women have a degree of vaginal discharge that is completely normal this is because the vagina produces discharge in order to keep the area lubricated and also as a mechanism to keep the area clean so a degree of discharge if it's clear and if it doesn't have a smell is completely normal where discharge can then become abnormal is for example if it has a change in consistency for example it becomes a cottage cheese consistency or um, sometimes very watery as well also look out for a change in the color of the vaginal discharge um, if it's green it could indicate a condition called bacterial vaginosis um, if it is yellow slash green it can be a condition called trichomonas vaginalis if the discharge is creamy in color it could indicate thrush or as we know it vaginal candidiasis so here are a few tips to maintain good vaginal health first and foremost avoid first and foremost try to avoid perfume soaps antiseptics such as Dettol or harsh chemicals in the area. This is because these tend to kill off the good bacteria that are found in the vagina and found in the vulval area and can lead to increased chance of you getting infections such as thrush. Also, avoid douching, which is a technique where women tend to flush the vagina with water in order to bring out all the discharge and secretions. This also serves to reduce the number of good bacteria in the area and makes it more and makes it much more likely to develop infections such as thrush. Instead, try hypoallergenic soaps, perfume-free soaps, or just hot water in a towel to clean the area. Also, avoid vaginal deodorants and perfumes for the area as they also encourage the growth of unhealthy bacteria in the area. Thank you very much for listening and for tuning in today. Please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the following videos.